Keshar here and my mission is to make Persian cuisine mainstream and good to be with you friends today I'm going to show you how to make strawberry stew or strawberry chicken this is something that you've never had I promise you that but this is one of my new creations and I will show you how to make them and I'm sure you will enjoy it once in a while I go through my freezer and find out uh, what I have there for a few weeks and I need to uh, clean it up, throw it out or use it. And that's what you need to do once in a while. Go through your freezer, the same, go through your mind. Get all those old thoughts that is lingering in your mind. Look at them. Maybe the thoughts that you had a few months back, now it's usable. If it's not, just trash it. Don't think about it. Do the same thing with the freezer. So I went through my freezer and I noticed I have a lot of frozen strawberries. So I decided what a better way I would let the freezer dictate what we're going to have for lunch today. So we are having strawberry chicken. For that I have one and a half pound of uh, chicken that I've already cut. Dark, and, um, dark meat and white meat together. I have half a cup of honey. This is a sweet and sour dish, salt and pepper, and also about two tablespoons of um, sliced almond oil. And I have about here about one and a half pound of strawberries. I also in this dish put some uh, 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 barberry. I've already cooked the barberry. It's ready. And then I'll mix them all. So I'll show you how this is done. Also, remember, you need to have one onion, which I've already cut the onion, and I am uh, caramelizing the onion. It's ready. As you know, I have uh, also cooked the rice. You all know how to do that, which the rice is simmering on the back. Now we are going to fix the stew. I am going to add the chicken, turn the heat up to up to uh, high heat. I'm going to add one orange juice, juice of one orange. These oranges are from my own tree and they're so good and juicy. Now you can see how I'm going to add the almonds. That was two tablespoons of almond. salt and pepper to taste gonna add the barberries be creative go out of your a box and just think of the things that you can do don't be afraid you need to motivate yourself you can't just wait for people to motivate you so this is the way to do it now I'm gonna add the honey anytime that you cook or at least most of the time that I cook with fruits, I make my stew sweet and sour. I 
At this point, I'm going to add two teaspoons of saffron. You know that oh, by now everybody knows that I'm big on saffron. Okay. Let's add the strawberries. I am going to save a few of the strawberries for the decoration on the top. The rest I'm going to put in. Why do I add it? Uh, why did I add the uh, strawberries now? Because it doesn't take long for the chicken to uh, cook. So, and since the strawberries are frozen, they can all cook and blend together. If I was going to use uh, meat, lamb meat or uh, beef instead of chicken, I would hold on and let that cook first before I add the strawberries. See how beautiful it looks. These are the fro frozen strawberries that I had that <coughs> I made the use of. These could be the thoughts that you have, in, you've had in your mind for so many weeks, so many months. Get it out, see what you can do with it. If it's not usable, just trash it and don't worry about it anymore. I'm gonna simmer, uh, cover this, let it simmer for half an hour and I'll be back and show you the presentation. Thank you so much.